Hello everyone. Uh, today in this video, we are going to discuss about the three main events, right? That is on click event sent on click listener and uh, on click event. Right? So for that, uh, we are going to discuss first of all the button, button control, right? So here you can see there are two ways to create a button. The first way you can write the XML code and second way you can drag and drop. So here two mandatory things we are going to discuss was one is a wrap content and a match parent, right? So suppose instead of wrap content, if I write the match parent, then you can observe that this button will take up all the screens, right? So this is what I don't want. You can also provide the size in a pixel right so 150 dp okay so here you can see this much size is there again this is not the recommended way because uh, you know nowadays we have a different uh, different size of phones and a different size of tablets right so for that we are not going to choose that so we stick to the wrap content right so here you can see these are the two mandatory attributes we are going to provide right now this button does not have any text so let's first of all provide the text over here so click me right so now you can see it is uh, displaying in on that particular button now next we are going to set the position for this button right so right now the button is at here right i want that button below this particular text view so we are dealing with the relative layout right now so for that we have layout below right and you can just provide the id of the element right so you can see now the text button is below the text view right so let's put it in a center so center horizontal is equals to true right and uh, let's set the margin top to 30 dp right so here you can see uh, this is our layout okay this layout is ready for us okay now you can see that one important thing today in this video we are going to discuss is that on click event right so here you can see it's a btn click i'm going to give a name of this particular btn click right so suppose if i'm going to delete this so you can observe that there is a red underline over here because i have not defined this event anywhere right so compulsory you have to define this particular event in a main activity dot java so public void right btn click okay and into that we are just passing the view and view right so here you can see that this is capital C okay now you can see that we are passing a view right so later on in this video we are going to just discuss that okay what is why we are passing a view instead of button over here right so button itself it's a represents the view right so we'll see in a moment right so right now just stick over here so when I click on this button then I want to change the text right so text view and i just create the text view is equals to now i need to identify that so find view by id r dot id dot txt hello so as you can see we have a special class r over here right so it is allowing us to access all the static elements of the particular project right so here with the use of id we are just identifying a text view which text view i want to refer okay now with the use of set <coughs> with the use of set text method 
I'm just going to change the text, right? So right now, by default here, you can see it is a welcome to Android, right? So I want to change something to uh, Android is cool, right? So whenever I click on this button, then this particular by default text is there. So that is going to be changed to the Android is cool, right? So here you can see that this is the particular way, first way, first approach to create the click event, right? So now let's run this code and you can observe that whenever I'm clicking on that button, so that particular text will be changed to Android is cool, right? So right now the application is installing over here. Once it is installed, you can just see the output in this particular emulator. So by default, this is welcome to Android. When I click on this, then it will change it to the Android is cool, right? So this is one particular approach for this thing, right? Okay, now let me stop this. Okay, now there is one another way to setting up the listener over here, right? So suppose if I'm not going to declare this over here, okay? So I also need to remove this. Now you can observe that this is in a gray color, right? Because I have not defined that, okay? Now, let's go for the second way. Okay, now we are just going to uh, create the set on click listener right for for that first of all i need a button right so there is a button uh, let me give one meaningful name btn hello okay now let me identify that with the r dot id dot whatever name we have given so let me first of all give the id of this particular button so let me give the id that is uh, bt that is bt and hello right so now we have a id with us so now i can identify that with the button hello now second thing we need a text view so text view dot Text view means text view is equals to find view by id r dot id dot txt hello. Okay, now we set with this, right? Now what I want to do. So first of all, I need to set the set on click listener. So set on click listener. You can see this is the particular intelligence we have so here set on click listener there are set on drag listener there are lots of listeners we have so right now we are just focusing on the set on click listener whenever i am clicking over here then i just need to pass the particular view on click listener interface right so here you can see observe that this is the interface i right and this is a view dot on click listener interface and when I press enter, you can just observe that we are overriding the on click event which is available on this particular listener over here, right? So we are just going to override this method over here and we are just writing that text. We are just text view dot set text is equals to new version of Android, right? So whenever I am going to click that button, then it is setting the set on click listener, and we are just passing the on click listener, and we are overriding this on click, and it will do the task for us, right? So let's quickly run that. So once the emulator is started, here you can see that our application is installed, and now if I click on this so the new version of android it is going to display right so this is one another way now suppose instead of 
passing this particular on click listener over here right so what other way we can do that right so instead of passing all these things over here i'm just going to remove this right i'm also just going to remove this bracket and i'm just also removing all this okay let me put this right now instead of every time writing we are just writing view dot on on click listener over here right so as you can see this is a we are just going to implement this particular interface because this is an interface so we need to implement that this is the java concept right extend means we are inheriting this right so here whenever we are implementing this particular listener or interface we need to compulsory override the you can see right now it's a red mark over here right so here you can see main activity must either be declared as an abstract or implement abstract method on click in on click listener so we are just going to implement the method so here on click method is there and we are just putting it over here so you can observe the things over here that we are just uh, removing the okay so you can write it over here or i'm just clarifying the things over here with the use of this okay now here you can see that now here in this particular area you can just create a different set of switch cases right so what is the meaning of switch cases over here and why we are just going to use the switch cases over here right so you can observe the things over here that here we are just implementing the on click listener over here right so if there are lots of on click listeners we are just going to implement so you just need to write over here once and you can just apply this switch cases over here so let me first create the switch case over here then we are just passing the view dot get id right so we are just getting the id of it okay now we are just creating the case r dot id dot btn hello right so if i'm just going to click the btn hello if my id matches then what i want to do right so here i'm just uh, printing one toast message so toast is a one class with the help of it you can just display message for some new reasons right so you can see that toast dot make text so here it's showing the template it is the method right so if i click on it then this dot here you can just pass the context this comma here you can just uh, pass the any message right so button is clicked right and here you can just write toast dot length long or length short there are two properties functions we can set right so this is for one second this is for zero second right so here you can see length long i'm just putting that dot so right so here you can see that whenever i click on that button then one toast message is going to be displayed and after that we are just putting the break and i'm just getting the default right and just putting the break over here okay now you can see we have a method right and we have set on click listener so we are happily passing this over here right so there is no doubt over here that it's a concept of java right so this is referred to the current object of this right of this particular main activity class so here you can see that this is our piece of code right and uh, if i execute this code then you can observe that okay so instead of getting change this particular text we are just observing one output over here 
when I click on it so you can observe the things right so button is clicked okay so button is clicked okay so there is one toast message displayed over here right so you can see that this is one another way of doing the same thing right suppose if i am ha i am having one another button right okay and i am having just one another case right so instead of displaying this toast message i want to display some another message then i can do that for simply you can just create the case over here right r dot id dot some id you can provide over here and just write the similar code like this over here right so right now we are not going to do that i'm just going to display one another thing okay guys uh, so that's it these are the different ways of dealing with the event handling with the use of this set on click listener okay thanks for watching hello everyone uh, one thing i want to discuss over here right so why we are passing view over here instead of button okay so you can observe the things over here that uh, we have this uh, main activity extends the particular you can say app activity right and similarly here we have a button class right so if i click on this button right so you can see that button is extends the text view again i'm just clicking command plus click so text view is extends the view so ultimately after getting to inheritance right ultimately it is a view okay so you can observe that instead of passing the individual elements generalize we are just passing the view right so every ui element comes under the view class inherits the view class right so that's why we are just writing the particular view we are passing the view as a parameter instead of button text view or whatever right so that is the answer of the question from one of the students thank you for watching